Hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just browsing with binary and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, How does binary code work? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a row of three light switches. Today, I am going to show you a wicked cool challenge that you can do with your friends. And unlike those other challenge videos, I'm also going to show you at the same time how your computer works. You get two for the price of one. That's so wicked cool. Okay. I challenge you to count to seven with these three switches. What do you mean there's only three switches so you can only count to three? Oh, what do you mean you can only count to six because you can only flip each switch twice? And nope, sorry, you can't just randomly flip through the switches. So, did you figure out how to do it? Well. I'm going to show you how to count to seven using three switches. You ready? Okay, if we say that the first switch is one, the second switch is two, and the third switch is four, we can actually count to seven by just flipping the switches, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, I told you you could count to seven using nothing more than three switches. <laughs> That's so wicked cool. So, how does this mimic how our computers work? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. You and I communicate using letters and numbers. However, your computer doesn't understand any letter or number. Instead, your computer communicates using microscopic electronic bits that are either off or on. We call this binary code or a two-part code. The light switches are like your computer, except unlike the light switches, your computer has billions of electronic microscopic bits that are either switched on or off. However, these bits are useless without software to tell the bits how to turn on and off. The piece of paper is like the software to tell the switches how to calculate. Your computer doesn't just use this binary code to calculate, it uses this binary code to do everything. For example, your computer screen is made up of a grid known as pixels that are either turned on or off, such as informing the letter H. And different combinations of switches will tell that pixel what color to display. Most of the switches in your computer are eight consecutive switches, or what is known as an 8-bit system. This means there are eight switches with different combinations, and each combination forms one piece of information such as 01110000 equals the number 14, although some computers are 64 or even 256-bit systems. So now you know more about binary code. You know, using a wicked cool challenge to learn about your computer is why science is so cool.